Welcome back to the Rich List. As you can see, we've got wanker, bogan, twat, prat, little twerp, tosser, asshole, shit heel, that tennis player off the Sorbonne dad, Mr Beck Cartwright and loser. We're looking for words or phrases to describe Leighton Hewitt. Hmm. One more and you could win $150,000. Jeremy, Heidi, thoughts? How about knob? Um, maybe, but I was thinking more like, um, dickhead. Yeah, I know, but, but he's your classic knob, though, isn't it? I mean, you know, all that looking at his fist like it's a sock puppet and abusing the ref, you just shake your head and say, you knob. Yeah, but see, when I see him carrying on like that, I sort of want to grab him around the neck, strangle him and say, stop it, dickhead! So what's it going to be, guys? Dickhead or knob? Well, if you feel strongly about knob, then let's go with that. You sure? Mm, no, on, on second thoughts, how about extremely good but ultimately limited player who fails to ignite national love because he has severe anger control problems? He's on the list. Welcome back to the Rich List. So far we have on the board Tony Blair, Morgan Freeman, Kenny, Lance Armstrong, Butrus Butrus Gali, and our very own Sir Gustav Nossel. And of course, we're looking for famous men who secretly wear lacy women's lingerie <laughs> under their clothing. Hmm. Any ideas, guys? Um. Oh, how about that bloke? What's his name? Uh, F. Scott Fitzgerald. No, no, no. The one killed by a stingray. Nelson Mandela. No. Aussie bloke. George Lazenby. No. You know, the, the crocodile hunter. Oh. Bob Dylan. The other crocodile hunter. Oh, Steve Irwin. Yeah, that's him. Crikey, it's on the list. Oh. <laughs> I bet they were car key too. So who else unexpectedly wears lacy women's underwear under their clothing? I got no idea. Oh, uh, hang on, uh, that bloke on the quiz show. Matt McGundy. No, no, not Channel 9, Channel 7. Uh, Koshy. No, that one about deal or no deal, the stupid Channel 7 show. Uh, Grant Denyer? No, him. <laughs> What's your name, mate? Andrew O'Keefe. Andrew O'Keefe? Yeah, yeah, oh. that's the one. Hmm, is that your answer? Yep. Guess what? <gasps> I'm on the list. So we already have Chinese water torture, bamboo under the fingernails and eyes plucked out. Ooh. The category is something that would be more enjoyable than watching this show. <laughs> You've decided to bank $10,000. You're going for $25,000. Okay, Brenda, what do you think? Uh, going to the dentist. He's on the list. John. Something that would be more enjoyable than watching this program? Uh, hemorrhoids? Mm. Are you sure you want to go with hemorrhoids, John? Yeah. Mm. Have you, um, have you ever had hemorrhoids, John? No, Andrew, I haven't. Mm. Well, let me tell you, they hurt like buggery. But I wouldn't put them in the same class as this dross. You still want to go with hemorrhoids, John? I might change my mind, Andrew. Can I say being trapped in a car wreck at the bottom of a cliff and having to cut your own arm off with a rusty pocket knife to escape. Mmm. Tell me, John, have you ever been trapped in a car wreck at the bottom of a cliff and had to cut your own arm off with a rusty pocket knife to escape? Uh, yeah, Andrew, I have. <laughs> and how did it compare? I wish I were back there now, Andrew. Mmm, OK, then. Being trapped in a car wreck at the bottom of a cliff and having to cut your own arm off with a rusty pocket knife to escape. Is on the list. Yeah. Stick around after the break. We'll see if we can list the top 15 ways for me to break my contract. 